Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at one of these questions that'll show up in, uh, in Math Excel. Plot the point uh, at the right given in polar coordinates and find other polar coordinates uh, that meet these three conditions. So the first, I forgot to add a circle here where we could actually plot uh, five comma five pi over six. Remember that um, when we're plotting a point in polar coordinates, we want to start with the angle. So five pi over six is the rotation of this line over to where five pi over six is, which is about right here. That's maybe a little off, but you get the idea, right? Um, and so five units away, this is five units away from the pole. So for because we have no scale here, we could just put the point somewhere out here, okay? But it is positive, R is positive, so it is along that line for five pi over six on that angle. So this is where the point exists. Let's just leave it there for now. Uh, the first part here wants a positive R value. Okay, so that's easy. It's gonna be five, right? So we know that our R value is gonna be five. And we know that, uh, but they want us to use a measurement for theta that is between negative two pi and zero. Okay, so remember that negatively measured angles go this way. And if we're looking at the same line which you know should line up i'm going to make this one a little more accurate should line up with this then we're talking about the angle that goes all the way around from here all the way around to here right as a negative angle uh, part of that is understanding reference angles again so we have a pi over six reference angle here okay because five pi over six is pi over six units away from getting all the way over here to pi so we know the reference angle is pi over six, right? So if we rotate all the way around to here, this is negative pi. And then we have another pi over six here, which would get us to negative seven pi over six. Uh, an easier way to think about that is to use the formulas that we talked about. Really what you're finding, all of these are just saying, use a coterminal angle or find a coterminal angle for this, which we can find by adding or subtracting uh, 12 pi over 6, which is the equivalent of 2 pi. So if we subtract 12 pi over 6 from 5 pi over 6, we get negative 7 pi over 6, which does fall in this interval. Okay. I spoke a little too soon because this is not a reference angle. This they want you to use 5 pi over 6, right? The angle that's between 0 and 2 pi is actually 5 pi over 6. So for part B, the angle that we're going to use is 5 pi over 6. Okay. Uh, or or let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Along that same line, right? Maybe I should erase that because that's technically not correct. Okay. But we're using a negative R value. So if we're using a negative R value, okay, we're using the quote-unquote diameter for this. So the point is still, is still here, right? They want R to be negative. They want R to be less than zero. So in order for the, the, the point to get, I use the term pushed, in order for the point to get pushed back in that direction with a negative R value, we have to label this angle right here. So what angle shares this diameter with five pi over six? It's down here at 11 pi over six. Okay, so you're understanding your quote unquote memorization of the unit circle will definitely help or picture uh, the, the, uh, the mental picture you can create for yourself or just having a unit circle next to you for now, right? 11 pi over six and five pi over six share this same diameter. So if you want to use a negative R value, you have to push the point away from that angle. So that's why we're using 11 pi over six and negative five. Now for this next one, they want a positive R value, so we're still gonna use five, okay? But now the angle has to be between two pi and four pi. So we're talking about an angle now that comes all the way around, doesn't stop here. It goes all the way around one time and then ends up here, right? So between zero and two pi would be any angle that falls like that. Between two pi and four pi, we have to keep going to get to this spot. So again, we are landing on the angle for five pi over six for this one. So if we add 12 pi over six, we get 17 pi over six for this angle. 
that's the angle that goes all the way around and then stops here, right? So for a lot of these, it either comes down to a coterminal angle that we find like so, or finding the angle that's on the diameter with that, and then pushing it back the other way with a negative R value.